Two million children are trapped inside Syria as the conflict within rages. And a quarter of Syria's refugees are children. Many of them are displaced in camps where they're suffering from fear and depression. Thousands of children have died since the war began in 2011. And the UN says there have been cases where children have been tortured and executed. A UN report in June said Syrian children are suffering the heaviest toll. It said that government forces, as well as rebels, have been using boys and girls as suicide bombers or human shields. Well, for more on this, so we're joined by Leila Zerouki, who's live from Lebanon's capital, Beirut. Leila is the United Nations representative on children and armed conflict. Very good to have you with us on Al Jazeera, Leila. Now, the UN uh, recently said that the conflict in Syria, in fact, has caused the world's, sec has caused the world's uh, worst uh, refugee crisis uh, since the Rwandan genocide. And we hear that a quarter of Syria's refugees are children. But let me ask you this. Do the numbers really tell the whole story? Because countries where you are, for example, in Lebanon, all of the refugees are not registered. Uh, I think that uh, when we gave numbers, it's just to uh, give you an idea about the disaster and how unbearable the situation is for the civilian. But I visited the five neighboring, can the four neighboring countries that are receiving refugees. But inside Syria, you have also all the displaced. Uh, families that I have an opportunity to meet some of them coming from all over the countries and even those who are not displaced they lost everything this war is affecting every family each person I talk to they lost uh, members of their family their homes uh, they are uh, injured, they are uh, uh, killed, maimed, children are used, as you said, by armed group as, as uh, uh, part of, uh, uh, in combat and in other functions. Children are lost their uh, environment, they lost their schools, they are not going to school, they are full. Those who are desperate or full of anger and uh, would like to see revenge. And they will not have the access to school, which means a future generation, if these conflicts continue, will be illiterate and uh, 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 also uh, uh, exposed to radicalization. Right. So, so what I is think that everyone is affected in Syria. And you've also visited uh, children outside of Syria as well. Yes, in the four neighboring countries, in Jordan, I visited the Zahtari, Zerqa, and other places, and even community. I did the same in Turkey, particularly in, uh, in uh, Gaziantep. Uh, and uh, also I visited uh, in Iraq, in Kurdistan, and in Lebanon, in the community, in al Bika, in al Hilwa. This conflict is affecting the Syrian and the Palestinian alike. So what is the best way, Layla, for NGOs, for, Unite, for the United Nations, to help the, the children and the refugees deal with the effects of war and displacement? I think they are ready. They are ready. They would like to do. They are, they, they are asking for more access. They are asking for more fun, funding. So the most important is, first of all, to ensure that the access is provided to the, 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 to the humanitarian United Nations and also NGOs. But also we provide the funding for schools, for example, for education. We all hear about uh, Malala calling for education for children. The children of Syria are affected. They need to go to school. There is no enough space everywhere for them, inside and outside. 4,000 schools have been, 4,000 have been destroyed. About 667 are now used as shelter. These are the future of Syria. So all the, the refu all those who are uh, working on the crisis would like to have fund, would like to have medication, would like to have access, and we need to see uh, also other more complicated issues, the, the bureaucratic issue, the, the, the security, but also uh, in good faith allow the access from both sides to those who try to elevate this unbearable situation uh, that affect all the civilian, but most particularly children.